you doing everyone? My name is Sebastian, uh, COO of Evoke Electric Motorcycles. Today I will walk you through how to update our ECUs, how to make sure the firmware is working and what we're going to do about it. Now, updating our ECU starts with all of the instructions that we provide from our company. So first things first, make sure you contact our technical support team. They will provide you all the information as well, which firmware, what to do and where to get it to download. Now, as you have your download link from our cloud server, make sure you download the entire folder. Don't download uh, individual links, don't download individual parts, just download the entire folder onto your desktop. And as it arrives on your desktop, it will be compressed. So the first things what we want to do is to uncompress that. Um, common mistake, uh, people just run things out of the compressed files and we don't want to do that because it just won't work. So as you uncompress everything as well, uncompress everything onto your desktop so it's easy to navigate, easy to find all of the components, okay? Uh, what we want to focus on is to make sure we have all the drivers installed on your, whether it's a laptop, desktop, whatever tablet you're using and other things. The very thing that what we want to do is to make sure that all of the things are according to our specification. So whatever your device you're using, make sure it's running Windows 10. Now that we, now that we have the folder in place, Let's try to open it up and you will notice that there are drivers for your installation, the USB drivers. Click on that folder and inside you will be able to find all the drivers uh, inside and just follow the steps. Just click setup, let the drivers run. We advise everybody to run all of the files in administrative mode. Now that you install your drivers, we want to make sure you have your flasher as well installed. Evoke flasher can be found in the folder that you download from our cloud. Uh, make sure you follow the instructions of our technical team and ensure that you downloaded the right version as well as to make sure that you have the right firmware downloaded as well onto your desktop. Now to prep the vehicle is very straightforward. Uh, first, make sure you actually put the vehicle on a stand. The reason we do that is to make sure that the rear wheel has enough space over there for all the tests done right after the flashing. Open the back seat and as you open the back seat you need to undo later on the rider seats. So there's two bolts on the left and right side. Undo those, lift the seat out of the place. The Evoke ECU flashing uh, wire is located next to the 12 volt. We do not advise you to plug in any other let's say random uh, let's say uh, connectors to it because they might cause any kind of let's say issues or permanently damage your ECU or your vehicle. As you receive the vehicle you will notice that there is a little baggie with all the connectors and all the wiring programming cables inside it. Now, plug in that cable uh, that you found over there for programming into the connector and make sure the vehicle is off at this moment. So, uh, everything is off, it's connected and plug that US in the USB part connected to your, uh, to your computer. When you connect everything on, now you turn on the vehicle. Do not activate any programs, any other things on your laptop. Make sure your laptop has enough power. Uh, we want to make sure that you do not have any interruptions during the pro uh, process of firmware flashing. Any kind of interruptions, shutdowns, disconnections or other things may result in permanently damage your ECU. Now we turn on the vehicle. We notice no flashes, no other things appearing, etc. Now that we connected everything to our computer or tablet or whatever machine you're using to flash with Windows 10, of course, we turn on the vehicle and the, the very first thing is to check that there is no errors, no other things appearing on the screen. Now we want to now we want to start the uh, firmware flashing. To do that, uh, we have to locate the Evoke flasher and right click on it. Again, run it as administrator. The flasher itself is actually very simple. All you have is two inputs and the flash button on it. Now, the, ver uh, the very first thing what we want to do is to ensure that you have your COM, con uh, com port connected. So in the middle over here, you will be able to find the port. Now you want to select the right firmware. So right above it, you will be able to find the firmware. So right click on it. Select the location on your desktop, go to the folder that you've downloaded and already uh, have on your, uh, on your screen and from there choose the right uh, firmware that we provided to you. Again, select the firmware, select the port, now all you have to do is click flash. So click on that button, it's very easy to run, the program will suddenly pop up a secondary window and everything is running through. As the program is running, uh, the screen on your vehicle may flash or may appear some, uh, some different numbers, etc. 
Don't pay attention to that. Just ensure that the vehicle is not turned off during the flash. Make sure there is no interruption. Make sure nobody disconnects these things. Remember guys, this is critical. No interruption, okay? So now the flash finish. How do you know it finish? The rectangle window itself will vanish of your screen and that's it, it's done. However, we don't want to finish right there. Right now, at this moment, we just want to disconnect uh, everything from your USB, uh, USB port, all the wiring. Turn it off, wait about 10, turn it back on. And before we process, move to the next stages, we want to run the basic check. So make sure your lights are working, turn signals, you get notifications. Give it a little gas, change the rider's mode, make sure your reverse is working. Voila, if it's all done, congratulations. You just uh, made your first flash. I hope this video really helps and I hope you're having a great time using our vehicle. So ride safe and see you guys next time.